dug deep, we, we went in. It's, it's very important to live life to the fullest. I first came across the Chenille Burgers uh, on Instagram because I was doing some research to... I was looking for bicycle stories uh, to pitch to, to this brand that I'd done a, a couple of biking films for. And um, someone pointed the Schnee Burgers into my attention. I reached out on Instagram and started a conversation. And um, this was just before COVID. Um, so during, that, during, during the year, the 2020, we weren't able to, to meet up personally or start filming, but, that, but we, did, um, we did talk constantly on Skype and on, on, on WhatsApp and um, started to develop a relationship. And by the end of 2020, uh, we finally got a few, a few, few bits together um, and went out to Spain to, to meet them and film, film with them. My, so my, my interest, even though I, I make a lot of sports films, my interest really lays in, 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 in the humanity of the people behind these stories moreover than, than the sport itself. Um, so on, on the one side that and, and then well because of this interest in, in human stories uh, and human connection I found it so powerful uh, and so, um, so inspiring that, um, that I wanted to tell it truthfully. Um, so with that approach I think sort of Something, something honest came out and, and I think quite, quite moving. The shoot was both fun and uh, demanding because we had very limited time, we had hardly any money. It was self-funded initially, so you know, we, we had only limited, limited days. Uh, so we had to make the most of, most of the days and be filming constantly and you know, uh, at first really cold and then really warm weather and Malaga was really warm, Alicante was freezing. So, but you know, that's, that's what it is. Um, and the, the, hardest, the hardest bits um, were obviously the interviews with, with all the family members, because we dug deep, we, we went in and and asked all the, all the questions with, with no filters, obviously with, with tact and, and with respect, but, uh, but we asked, I think, all the questions that needed answering. And, you know, the Schneebergers were, all four of them were fantastic. They, they opened up uh, and, and I'm eternally grateful for that. Yeah, the experience is definitely different from when you see it with, with an audience than when you see it on your own. Um, for example, when I've been work, I'd been working on it um, for so long and you just, you know, you're, you're in the details and you're just sort of putting it all together and, and your head is, is in that space. But then the first time I, I showed it to an audience, uh, I hadn't seen the film for a bit, for, for a bit because, you know, you sort of you put it away and then all of a sudden it's in a big screen and, and that was an amazing moment. First of all, to see these images in, in a big screen is, is wonderful. I, I love cinema. Uh, but also you, you sort of, you kind of forget what the story is about and, and then you watch, it, you watch it with different eyes. You sort of become an audience member again. And, and that's, yeah, that was beautiful. Um, so, so hopefully tonight will be, will be the same. The biggest challenge uh, for telling this story was, was mostly being respectful and honest about, about their story uh, and, about, and about the dishes illness. I think that was kind of like the, the main priority. The kids, the kids, um, knew about Letitia's illness to a certain extent, I believe. Um, they're kids, you know, they have eyes and ears. They are very, these kids are very switched on. They're very intelligent, they're both very bright. 
So on the one side, there's that. And then on the other side, I think it's sort of the information, I, th I think, you know, they, they might correct me, uh, sort of came in waves. But by the end of, by the, end of the shoot, um, Leticia told me that she had, um, they had, they had, Tony and her had had the conversation with the kids fully disclosing the, the extent of the illness and and also when she told me this she she, she reiterated her blessing in, in me telling the whole story as it was which was so important for me. Well it, it took it took about a year to, to start sort of putting all the pieces together of, of us meeting and, and getting all the elements that we needed to make the film. Um, uh, mostly because it was a very hard, hard year, right? So travel, restrictions and all these things. And once that hurdle was, was over, we were over that hurdle, um, we flew to Spain and we were there for just over a week. Filming in we and we filmed in uh, we filmed near Ma near Malaga and we filmed at La Fina Sosa bike park which were great with us amazing location and great place to stay with great people. I'm not a mountain biker myself. I have an old Dutch rusty bike because uh, I can't bend over too much. Um, but uh, I'd done a couple of, uh, one pump track film and one BMX film for a brand and um, yeah, that was kind of the extent of my, my interest and knowledge about bikes. But uh, it's, it's since developed. The, the message in the, in the film is, is summed up very, very clearly by Leticia uh, towards the end of the film. Um, where she tells us that uh, it's, it's very important to live life to the fullest and enjoy every moment of it and not regret anything. Um, so I think that's, that's, you know, that is the story of the film. Yeah.